Hi everyone, let's begin one interesting paper. Title of this paper is An Introduction to Structure Equation Modeling. This paper has been published in Family Science Review. And uh, here is, this paper is explaining what is the structure equation modeling, why we are using SAM, and on which particular technique this paper is working, as well as it, this paper will discuss some problems concerning the assessment and improvement of the model fit and model extension to multi-group problems, including factor means. And here is, this is the how come this structure equation modeling. This another name came into practice, covariance structure modeling. So first of all, we would understand what do you mean by structure equation modeling. It's a very general statistical modeling technique and it's widely used in the behavioral science. And it's a combination of factor analysis and regression or we can call it path analysis. So the interest in SAM is often on theoretical constructs. Those are represented by the latent factors. And the relationship between the theoretical constructs are represented by regression or path coefficient between the factors. This is structure for the covariances between the observed variables. That is why we are calling it covariance structure model. Then we come to the, there are number of many researchers will simply think of these models as literal models which is also less accurate. Lizeral is an abbreviation of linear structural relations. And the name used by the Jogskog for one of the first and most popular SAM program. Nowadays, structure equation modeling need not be linear and the possibilities of SAM extends will beyond the original Lizeral program Brown, 1993, discussed the possibility of fit non-linear curve. Here is, we can see what is, what do you understand by term path diagram. So, structure equation models are often visualized by a graphical path diagram. The statistical model is usually represented in a set of matrix equation. So, researchers had to distill the matrix representation from the path diagram and provide the software with the series of matrices for the different set of equations or parameters. Then we come to the, here is this SEM, including issues of estimation, model fit, statistical assumptions. So some examples of SEM models, it has been very well is explained in this particular paper. Structure equation modeling has its roots in path analysis, which was invented by the, here is Wright, Wright 1921. Same analysis by drawing a path diagram. Extensions of this notation have been developed to represent variances and means. It has well explained. Then, what do you mean by confirmatory factor analysis that we can call it CFA? So, in this figure, already mentioned CFA for data collected by Holzinger and Swins Ford, extracted from the Amos manual. It's already mentioned here. Then the, here is, you can see, those are the arrows. They are reflecting factor loadings. So, we come to the, this is the confirmatory factor analysis, right? So everything is mentioned here in this particular figure. The arrow from the factors to the variables represent linear regression coefficient or factor loading. We do not assume that the latent factor completely explain the observed variation. Each observed variable is associated with a residual error term, which is also unmeasured and depicted by a circle. So now you can see these are the error terms. These are constructs and one this construct is uh, defined by the one, two, three. These are the three items and the same with here. This one is another variable and these are the residue, we can call it 
items, residuals. Then we come to the model of this kind are called restricted or confirmatory factor analysis. Right? And after that, in strict equation modeling, the equation, the, the confirmatory factor model is imposed on the data. So purpose of strict equation modeling is twofold. So it estimates of the parameters of the model, that is factor loading, the variance and covariance of the factor and the residual error variance of the observed variable. So here is, we will go through model fit. So, and after this model fit, you can see these factors, we also must fix one loading to one. Now, Z through Z score also you can calculate and you can see this kind of table, factor loading and squared multiple correlation SMC. Then we come to the, there is standard errors, critical ratio, as well as like if we talk about the CR, CR of 1.96 or higher and minus 1.96 or lower. So, indicates two-sided significance at the customary 5% level. Then we come to the multiple regression analysis. So, it is, you can see, multiple regression analysis. That is perceived burden of children, multiple regression. And uh, after that, you can see, this one is the a proper explanation of this particular multiple regression. And then you can see here, uh, like this is the figure three. I'm, I'm just uh, explaining you path model for perceived burden of children. So this is, you can see, in this particular figure, author obtained a chi-square of 20 on a degree of freedom, which gives a p-value of 0 0.01. Statistically, this the model is rejected. In a later section, author discuss ways to improve the model of figure 3. So in this, this model is rejected and how this model is improved. So path model with latent factors and these are the methods through which they can improve this model. And further is uh, like uh, in, uh, this one is the statistically this model is rejected in a later section. Author discuss ways to improve this model estimation and model fit how we can get these and this because this maximize this this um, estimation is work on maximum likelihood and in that way that has been defined over here you can see and further is model fit goodness of it indices and uh, finally these are the what do you mean by gfi agfi gfi means goodness of fit indexes and uh, agfi adjusted gfi GFI indicates goodness of fit and uh, the AGFI attempts to adjust the GFI for a complexity of the model. So two other well-known measures. This was the Tucker-Lewis index, that is TLI and better known as non-norm fit in this index or NNFI. Normal fit index, NFI and all these things. And this is the RMCA, so RMCA means uh, we are talking about root mean square error of approximation. If the approximation is good, the RMCA should be small. So typically RMCA of less than 0 0.05 is required and statistically test or confidence interval can be computed to test if the RMCA is significantly larger than the lower bound. Modification indices you can see and uh, further, we can go through this. What do you mean by TLI, NNFI, and I'm sure RMCA, each and everything is given in this particular paper. And now this is the elaboration of this particular path analysis, path model for perceived. I mean, this one is the, this problem statement author has been taken. And now you can see here, modified model for children's quantity quality of sleep standardized estimate this is the modified version because that model was rejected previously extend extended models you can see and uh, further we can come to the on the later part of this 
overall fit results of multi group comparison of boys and girls so how they had reported all the results chi square degree of freedom p value tli or nca and p close each and everything has been mentioned in the same manner you can express your values your results and here is the critics on sam so all these things are mentioned over here and uh, there is the like if we talk about the sam is the issue of causal interpretation so most applications of sam are on non experimental data in that way these are the critics softwares and the handbooks those are available like these are n number of the softwares like lizrel eqs amos on which any any one of the software you can use it and what kind of books are available on the structure equation modeling so you can refer these books and uh, as well as uh, sam on the internet internet and you can see number of the uh number of the sites are mentioned here so you can click on these sites and you can get the solution and this is the this is the old paper but now the late number of the other uh, current uh, research papers already available on net and but this is the we can say key base of all the paper so there is the proper clarity of the what do you mean by structure equation early i hope this video would be helpful Thank you. Keep watching.